I want to give double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. And I want to say shalom, love, aquarium to the hopeful elect. <clears throat> Alright, uh, this is your brother Karat Desai. Uh, just flowing through the spirit, so to speak, man. Alright. Um, this is First Peter 3 and 12. For the eyes of Yahweh are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of Yahweh is against them that do evil. All right. Uh, the Lord is watching us, man. Everything that we do, everything that we speak, everything that we say, um, the Lord is watching over us, man. And uh, the things that we think and the things that we do are going to be... Uh, counted for us against to for judgment all right so that's why we got to make sure that uh we try to do the best that we can to be to be uh righteous right <clears throat> verse 13 and this is the point right here and who is he that will harm you if he be followers of that which is good right so nobody's going to put harm unto us if we're doing the things that you have outside wants us to do all right and what's the lord command us to do let us hear the conclusion this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear Yahweh by Shem Al Shai and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man alright this is what the Lord commands us to do keep his law statute commandments to the best of our ability man we can't do everything uh, that the law says okay um, but we can not eat shrimp, pork, crab, and lobster. We can not be homosexuals, transgenders. We can not take the RFID microchip. All right? We can not let things be injected into our body. That's that's not profitable for us. Okay. If the Lord wanted us to have those things in our body, all right, He would have put it in our bodies. All right. Um, we can uh, honor our mothers and fathers. We can not uh, be covetous towards what our neighbor has our brethren has okay all right <clears throat> we can uh discipline our children all right so they're not out here acting like two-thirds okay all right <clears throat> so on and so forth man and we can fear the lord knowing that he's watching us man knowing that he has chariots and angels all over uh the globe okay watching us right now and everything that we do that should be enough fear in us to uh make sure that we are walking circumspectly man all right <clears throat> and keeping the law statute commandments is that's what's good man because that's what's going to prove us to uh be righteous in the eyes of these other nations uh and righteous in the eyes of the lord okay also uh more importantly our faith man okay what we honestly believe in man all right this is romans chapter 7 verse 12 wherefore the law is holy all right and the commandment holy and just and good okay so i'm gonna look up these words holy and i'm gonna look up these word this word good okay because we're supposed to be separate from these other nations man okay the word is g uh strong's g39 strong's g40 hagios Hagias. So like I said, 39, but it's 40. Strong G, 40. Hagias, okay? A most holy thing, a saint. And who's the saints of Yahweh Hashem al Shai, man? The Israelites, because that's who he picked, man, out of all the nations above the, uh, in the world. Okay, he picked us, okay? All right, let's see what these um, root words say. All right, right here. This is... Hognos, okay, is G five uh three. It says pure from carnality, chaste, modest, okay, pure from every fault, immaculate, clean, okay. And what makes us clean? The law, statute, of commandments, man. All right. More importantly, faith, man. Okay. Separate. All these things make us separate, man. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And who are the saints? Let me get uh. I believe it's in Psalms 50. 
in Psalms 50 and 5, and there's other precepts as well. All right. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And who's the one? Who are the ones that's making a covenant with the Lord by sacrifice? All right. The Israelites, man. All right. How about Shema Shai gave <clears throat> the law, stage, and commandments unto the Israelites? Okay. And if we keep the law, stage, and commandments, we are sacrificing ourselves. Okay. To be separate from this world. All right. And how we are? How else are we making a sacrifice? How the Hebrew Israelites making a sacrifice? They out there on the highways and byways making a body a living sacrifice, just like Yahweh Shai did. Man, he made his body a living sacrifice. Okay, he was the ultimate sacrifice. All right, for the nation of Israel, not for anybody else, man. All right. So again, the law is what's good, man. All right. The law is what's keep what is what will keep us in order. All right. <clears throat> and keep us good and just. All right. So I'm gonna read this again. Romans 7 and 12, wherefore the law is holy, all right, and commandment holy, just and good, all right, there we go, so we know what's good, man, all right, we know what is good, let's look up this word for good, it's Strong's G1, G18, Strong's G18, Agathos, 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 okay, all right, and the law is useful, all right, it's good, it's pleasant, it's agreeable, it's agreeable, it's joyful, and it makes us happy, man, because we know we're pleasing the Lord, man, when we do the best that we can, man, even though we in this, these wretched bodies, okay, all right, uh, excellent is the law, all right, distinguished, all right, it helps us be distinguished from these other nations, man, Deuteronomy, I believe it's chapter four, all right, upright and honorable, man, okay, it's an honorable thing to be good in the eyes of Yahabashim al man. It's an honorable thing to stand for Yahabashim al man. Because if you stand for the Lord, man, <laughs> like like the like you said right here in 1 Peter 3 and 13. Who and who is he that will harm you if he be followers of that which is good? Nobody, man. So if you stand for your Habashim al Shai, nothing and nobody's going to harm you, man. Okay? Because you're following that which is good. And more importantly, what's good, man? Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Yahweh Bashim al Shai. We're supposed to be trying to imitate Yahweh Shai as, as, as much as possible, man. All right? And Yahweh Shai came down here and kept the law. Holy, man. When I say holy, all of it, man. Okay? He didn't sin, man. All right? <clears throat> this is Proverbs 16 and 7 When a man's ways please Yahabashim al Shai, He maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him Alright So if you please the Lord And how will we please the Lord? Keeping the laws to the best of our ability More importantly faith Okay Alright The Lord's going to make his enemies to be at peace with you So who's going to harm you man? Nothing and nobody, man. Okay, nobody is going to harm you, man. This is what the word is saying. We are supposed to hope in these words, man. And if we hope in these words, that shows our faith, man. Okay. So again, when a man's ways please Yahabashim al Shai, even his enemy shall be at peace with him, man. All right. And we want peace in our life, man. But the only way we're going to receive true, perfect peace is through Yahweh Shai, man. When he comes back, man. All right. And destroys this place, and he puts the men, women, and children that are of the elect. In the in the in the roles and responsibilities that they're they're supposed to fulfill, and we in the kingdom, man. All right, and you how right desire. Uh, these people, the people that listen to these videos, all right. Well, will y'all are part of elect and myself, man. All right, and the men that's doing this work, man. Starting off with the men of Great Millstone, Apostle Tahar on down. All right. So in a let me look up this word, please, man. Okay, let's see. All right. Ratash is Strong's H7521. Strong's H7521. Ratsa. Ratsa. All right. To be accepted, pleased with, and we want the Lord to accept us, man. We want the Lord to be pleased with us, man. All right. To be, to be favorable. I'm looking at the first one. To be pleased with, be favorable, accept favorably. We want these things, man, from you. How about you, man? i all right <clears throat> and if if we have faith more importantly man we're gonna be acceptable unto the lord man if we believe these words man if we hope in these words like we supposed to and we don't let demons get in our mind man and try to overthrow our faith 
then we're going to be straight, man. All right. Because the Lord is not going to let anything harm us that, that we can't go through. Uh, he's not going to let anything happen to us that we, we can't handle, man. All right. We're going to be straight, man. Yeah. How about you, Mount Shai got us, man. All right. <clears throat> let me get this. This is 1 Corinthians 14. And this is another good thing that we need to be following after, man. All right. Follow after charity and des desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may pro prophesy. All right. Spiritual gifts, man. What is spiritual gifts? Discernment. Okay. Understanding the word, being uh, brotherly, knowing. All right. When you're going off and correcting yourself, that's the spiritual gift. And the most important spiritual gift that we can receive on this side is faith, man. Because we're going to need faith to make it through anything that we're going to have to uh, go through, man. For you, how about Shema All right? Because it says, through much tribulation, all right? All right, this is Acts 14 and 22. Confirm confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High, man. So, through much tribulation, all right, we're going to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, man. All right. So, we need to have faith, man. And we do these lessons to edify and exhort one another, man. All right. So, faith is a spiritual gift that we're going to need, man. And we got it. We just got to dig in within ourselves and get it out, man. All right. Through faith in Yahweh Shem Al Shai, praying, fasting, hoping, calling upon the name of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. All right. For he that speaketh an unknown tongue speaketh not unto man, but unto unto the Yahweh. For no man understandeth him, howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. All right. And the unknown tongue man is Lashawan Kadash. All right. And if and if these scriptures are broken down and a man doesn't understand it, it's because the Lord doesn't want them to understand that, man. All right. This is the whole point right here. All right. But he that prophesieth speaketh unto men to edification, exhortation, and comfort, man. This word is our comforter, man. Yahweh Shai sent the comforter through Yahweh. Yahweh Shema Shai sent the Holy Spirit, man. It's these words to comfort us, man. All right. So this lesson, all right, is to comfort brethren, man. Whatever we may have to go through, Yahweh Shema Shai is not going to let anything harm you, man, because we are followers of that which is good to the best of our abilities, man. And we have to fight, man. All right. We got to fight. All right. And uh, let me get this in Acts because <clears throat> Nothing happened to the to the to these men that stood for you. How about Shema Al Shai? All right. Um, all right. I'm gonna start here. This is Acts five and seventeen. Then the high priest rose up, and all they that were with mm -hmm. them. And the. And were filled with indignation. So all the high priests, the individuals, they were mad because the men of the Lord were out there doing their thing, man. Prophesying, healing people, all right? In the name of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. And laid their hands on the apostles and put them in common prison, all right? This is what the Lord wanted them to go through. But no harm came unto them that they couldn't endure, man, okay? All right? But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go, stand and speak in the temple to all the people the words of this life. And they heard that they entered into the temple early in the morning and taught. All right. And that's what we're doing right now, man. We're teaching the word of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, man. And there's individuals out here that don't like that name. There's individuals out here that don't like the gospel. Okay. Because the gospel is not for everybody, man. The gospel is for the Hebrew Israelites. And more importantly, for the elect, man, all right? So they can come back, return to you, how about Shema Al Shai, and be different from what they were in the world, in the world uh, and, and live in the light as best as possible uh, through faith until your Havah Shai comes, man, all right? <clears throat> and they that were with them, uh, Salat, and taught, but they, but the high priest came and they that were with them called council together and the senate of the children of israel and sent them to prison and sent and sent to and sent to the prison to have them brought but when the officers came and found them not in prison they returned and told 
All right, so the apostles, they weren't in the prison because the Lord delivered them, all right? If you're doing what Yahweh Shema Shai wants you to do, you're going to prosper, man. Go read the in, in, in what happened to Joseph, man, all right, when he was in prison. He was prospering, man. He was prosperous, all right? The Lord had him set up to be, he, he had him set up in there, in that prison, all right, to, to tell people their dreams, okay, all right? And those dreams came about, and they and Joseph came out of that prison. Okay, all right. Back in the, the rulership seat, he was before he was in before in the land of Egypt, man. All right. Joseph prospered, man. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so shall we, man, if we continue to do what's good, be followers of that which is good, man. Okay. All right. So going back into this, saying the prison. The prison truly found we shut with all safety and the keepers standing without before the doors. But when we had opened, we found no man within. All right. So the Lord put the spirit on them. The, the Lord had an angel come through. The Lord had an angel come through and open up the doors, man. And whatever guards were there, man, they didn't they didn't realize or know what was going on. All right. The Lord probably stupefied them in some way, man. It doesn't speak on it. Right. But another count, it, it does, man. All right. Now, when the high priest and the captains of the temple and the chief priests heard these things, they doubted of them where unto this would grow. Then, then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple teaching the people. All right. It's just like we trying to exhort the people, uh, edify the people and comfort the people with this word. That's what the that's what the apostles were doing. All right. Then went the captain with officers and brought them without violence, for they feared the people lest they should have been stoned. All right. Those individuals, the officers and the captains, they feared the people because the, the people were being taught the word of Yahweh by Shema Shai. And uh, if, let, let's say if something disrupts you, you would be angry. Right. So if these people uh, were. Um disrupted by violence they would get angry man so they that's why they didn't that's why they didn't uh get them out there didn't commit any violence unto them when they came out there again who is who is going to harm you if you be followers of that which is good man okay nothing to nobody all right and when they had brought them they set them before the council and the high priest asked them saying did we not straightly command you that you should not teach in this name what's the name how about shim al shai man all right not no Chedre, Borgir, Jesus Christ, none of that other nonsense, man, okay? Uh, and behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring man's this man's blood upon us, all right? Hey, the doctrine of truth, man, that this gospel, all right, is for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, all right? Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey Yahweh Shem Al Shai, God, all right, the most high power, all right, rather than men. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. All right. Him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. So Yahweh Shai came down here to forgive Israel for their sin. No other nation, man. All right. And we are his witness. Of these things and so is also the Holy Spirit whom Yahweh has given to them that obey him so the Lord will give the Holy Spirit unto you if you obey him and how do we obey the Lord by doing the best that we can by keeping the law statutes and commandments to the best of our ability and ultimately having faith man and standing strong for the Lord man because that's what we're gonna have to do all right <clears throat> When they heard that they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them, all right. Still, man, we're gonna be persecuted for this word, man. All right, and Yahweh right does out. We stand for Yahweh Shem Al Shai, man. All right. They then stood up one in the council, a Pharisee named G Gamaliel, select if I'm saying this wrong, his name right, a doctor of the law, had in had in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space. And he said unto them, ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to, to do as touching these men. 
For before as the, as the days rose up, Thaddeus boasted himself to be somebody to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves who were slain and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. After this, the men rose up Judas of Galilee in those days of taxing and drew much people after him. He also perished all even as many as obeyed him were dispersed. So he's saying those individuals that followed after ungodly men, all right, <clears throat> got, got put to naught, man, all right? And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of Yahweh, ye, ye cannot overthrow it. All right. And was the was the work of Yahweh Shema Shah overthrown? No, it wasn't, man. And it's never going to be. OK, let's happily ye be found even to fight against Yahweh. And everybody's arms is too short to box with God, man. OK, Yahweh. All right. The most high. OK. So if if there is individuals that's trying to ter deter you off your track from pleasing the Lord, man, don't worry, man. They're going to be overthrown, man. OK. All right. Again, First Peter three and thirteen, man. All right, and oh, and to him, they agreed when they had called the apostles and they and beat them. They commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahushai, okay, and let them go. All right, hey, we're gonna get beat. We're gonna be. We possibly gonna be tortured. We possibly gonna be put to death, man. But hey, Yahushim Al Shai is building us up to be strong mentally, spiritually, physically. All right. And we're going to be straight, all right? And they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing that they were accounted worthy to suffer for the, suffer shame for his name, for the name of Yahweh Shai, man. All right, so we have to build ourselves up to be in that spirit. First of all, pray to be in the spirit to rejoice for the trials and tribulations that we're going to have to go through for the name of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, okay? Because that's the name of our Savior, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, all right? All right, let's get that. I'm going to look up this word rejoicing. Is Strong's fifty four sixty three? Strong's G fifty four sixty three. Chairo, Chairo, Chairo. Okay, all right. To be glad, rejoice exceedingly. To be well, thrive. All right. Hey, we're gonna be glad, man, in that day when we have to stand for Yahweh Shem All right, we're gonna be glad in that day when these individuals put their hands on us. Because we know we did the right thing for Yahweh Shem Al Shai. And we're going to stand, man. All right? We're going to stand for Yahweh Shem Al Shai because standing for anything else, man, is death, man. But standing for Yahweh Shem Al Shai is life, man. Okay? All right? Standing for Yahweh Shem Al Shai is life. All right? And the Lord is not going to let anybody harm you, man. First Peter 3 and 13, man. All right? And anything that happens unto us, man, is not, is not uncommon to men. And the Lord is not going to put nothing on you that you can't handle, man. I think that's 1 Corinthians 10 to 13. And these men were able to handle the beating, man. And they stood stiffly for the Lord, man. Let me go back up here. It says in 5 and 29, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High, Yahweh, rather than men. All right? Because who created you, man? Yahweh created you, man. All right? Yahweh Bashim al Shai created you, man. Okay? So that's who you that's who we need to be obeying to the best of our ability, man. All right. Because again, the Lord is watching us, man. All right. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were accounted worthy to suffer shame for his name. All right. Well, let me look at this word suffer. All right. Uh it's Strong's G one eight. 8818 Strong's G 818 Atimazo Atimazo All right Atimazo All right to dishonor and insult treat with contempt and that's what people did to the apostles man they treated them with contempt they insulted them man they dishonored them but hey we got to be put put made made uh humble and low so that we can receive the honor that we going to get man immortality man Everything that you could possibly want, you how about your is gonna give it to you, man? All we gotta do is stand for the Lord, man, and build ourselves up to rejoice, man, for the things that we're gonna receive for standing for the Lord, man. All right, 
verse 42 and daily in the temple and in every house they cease not to teach and preach Yahweh Shah Hamashiach man that is the Messiah man Yahweh Shah Hamashiach man all right so we're going to continue through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to stand for the Lord through faith okay all right and if we got to catch any type of suffering any type of hell all right Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is going to be with us all right let me let me do let me get some of that all right because Hey, fear not, man. All right, let's get this. Deuteronomy 20 and 21. When thou goest out to battle against thine enemies, all right, because we are battling, man. This is a spiritual fight, man. Okay, we got to overcome and win spiritually. And see his horse, see, and see his horses and chariots and people more than thou. Be not afraid of them, for thy, for Yahweh thy power is with thee, which bringest, which bring, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Yahweh shot about to bring us out of this land again, man, the land of Egypt again. So we don't have nothing to be afraid of, man. All right. Verse verse three. I don't know. I don't have two in there, but verse three and and shall say unto them here, O Israel, ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies. All right. Like we we are battling our enemies every day. Spiritual demon, Satan. OK. And the physical counterpart of Satan, man. All right. Let not your hearts be faint. Fear not and do not tremble. Neither be terrified because of them. For your how your power is he that goeth with you to fight for you, to fight for you against your enemies to save you. So the Lord is going to be with us, man. All right. Yeah, how about Shema is going to be with us? He's going to save us. He's going to lead us. He's going to guide us. And he's going to help us, man. All right. So let me go back into First uh, Peter. tripping slot nobody's gonna harm us man all right first peter 3 and 13 and who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good and hey, the apostles were following what they saw through yahweh shai all right they was out there witnessing the miracles that that, that yahweh shai did and they was out there doing the same thing yahweh shai did man the Lord gave Yahweh Shem Shai gave the Holy Spirit to those men, and they was out there doing the will of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. All right, verse fourteen. But if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify Yahweh power in your hearts, and be always ready to give an answer to every man that asketh you your you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear and fear of the lord man okay not of man okay all right because man don't control nothing how about shima al is in control all right let me get one more precept and i'm gonna close out all right this is your man this is matthew 28 and 18 and your howashai came and spake unto them saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth so who's in control man all right so I want to give uh I want to say Brakate Yahweh by Shim Yahusha by Shim Hawa Kakradash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who we're gonna teach you And I want to say Shalawan Baba Kwam to the hopeful elect. Kwam Yasharala and the Baba Ball Shalawan. Death to America. Shalawan.